Let's go.
Okay then. Appleseed is very unhappy. Mr. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. What? What you good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. Call yourselves lumbermen? You afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Oh! Yes, yes! Maybe you're the man I need. Can you believe these lazy lily livers? Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? He'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, there you are! I assumed from all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. Whew, that's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Boy. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. 
making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. on this ridge. Hold. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! Keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Mm. 
to here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is get this hall back in one piece. job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you... Me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. 
Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Time to go, boy. Yep. Easy now. Yep.
You brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Hey, you wanna sit, Morgan? You gonna help out around here? Jesus, you never had to it. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. I got no idea. He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. Keep it coming.
Miss O'Shea. Oh, hi, Micah. Save my hide not once, but tw Warm, Micah. Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even... Gather round. I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Laugh you may, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn and weep. You're crowding me a little. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Mm. Thank you. Scoff not, laugh not, deride not, I speak the truth. We are killing this land, killing it with greed, killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil, the sea will dry up, the world will heat. Crops shall wither, the hills shall burn, the rivers shall turn to fire. And this will not be some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. This is a land founded on greed. Not on science, not on truth, but on greed. We must think, not merely desire.
Science will save it. Not gods, not dreams, but knowledge. Knowledge is the only hope, and knowledge starts with the eyes. Let's go, boy. I need too many eyes to see.